All right, well, uh, don't let the winter weather be your excuse for not keeping a healthy lifestyle towards the end of the year. That's right. Here to help us uh, out right now is Katie Corbin from Yoga Licious, love the name, <laughs> with winter health advice and muscle warming stretches. So tell us first about Yoga Licious. What is it that you do? Is it just yoga? We are truly a, a yoga studio. Okay. We are just a practice space. We don't have retail. We, mm -hmm. we just come in and breathe and oh, yeah. stretch and find community with others who want to learn to be um, more peaceful, more yeah. calm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good because we're all in a hurry these days and especially with the, you know, the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas mm -hmm. stress you know, that mm -hmm. can get to us. To be able to go to a studio where you know you're going to be able to focus on mm -hmm. you know, toning your muscles and relaxing mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. Exactly. As the mother of a toddler, I'm always looking yeah. for ways to de-stress and right. remember to breathe. <laughs> and that's the thing about yoga is that um, you get the two benefits. I mean, you're, you're working your body out. Mm -hmm. It's looking beautiful. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, I mean, you are working out your mind as well and, and the stretches and you, you get all of that in. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and this time of year, we particularly need a good healthy immune system so yeah. I, mm -hmm. I uh, picked out a few different okay. stretches oh, yeah, yeah, and poses yeah. that hopefully will help boost the immune system and help us to find energy uh -huh. um, just in case we have a lot of things on we want to do right. fun or otherwise right. and, um, and also to reduce fatigue and just feel more less stressed. We are all into that. <laughs> yeah, we are. Is it intimidating for beginners, though, that walk in and have never done yoga before? It most definitely is. I get messages from people all the time, people on the street who are like, what class should I come to? And yeah. we have a number. We actually have tonight a Yoga 101 class oh. mm -hmm. that really, they pick, she picks one pose and really uh -huh. focuses on that one, makes sure <coughs> folks know it really well. Oh, and it good. leans towards restorative yoga. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a great place for anyone to start. That's with Jane Bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have a, other basic yoga and I actually teach a 10-15 mm -hmm. Friday morning uh, mm -hmm. yoga basics class too. All right. All right well we have about two minutes and we want to get to some of your poses yeah. and maybe kind of like you know help our, our viewers that, and including ourselves. I was gonna say help so, us too right? Yeah exactly <laughs> so so go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Take it away. So as with any mm -hmm. exercise you mm -hmm. want to warm up first so you yeah. might go for a walk right. or you might uh, one of our favorite po uh, things to do is um, called cat cow where as you uh, you come into table position you're down on all fours mm -hmm. I like to tuck my toes under get a foot stretch and then as you exhale start to tuck your tailbone let your back arch up let your neck hang along just kind of That's warming a stretch. That actually feels up the spine the, my toes sometimes get cramps though mm -hmm. I don't know if you're yeah. gonna get toe cramps yeah but. sometimes yeah exactly so just kind of warming everything up first and how a little important bit. is it to breathe I, it, is, it is important to remember your breath. I kind of like to exhale as I come up into cat pose, inhale as I go into cow, but really it's up to, it's up to I'd love you to as to where you like right to breathe. Actually. <laughs> that looks so good. And so you want <laughs> to learn to, yoga clothes this mm -hmm. morning. I you know. Want to learn, oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. You want to learn to listen to your body. So really okay. just listening to your back, seeing what it needs. Mm -hmm. As we get into these movements, you might rock mm -hmm. side to side, Ooh. any number of things that feel good. Yeah. And then from here, uh, you might walk your feet up to meet your hands okay. and come up into a forward fold. And make sure your knees are a little soft. This is a, a forward bend. fold, you're saying? Yes. So um, just down. standing forward, you can mm -hmm. see it from the front mm -hmm. or from the side. Um, okay. So maybe placing your hands somewhere on your legs and coming up halfway, heart oh. forward, you get a little hamstring stretch. Ooh. Yeah, that does feel good. Yeah. It's a lovely thing to do. I always um, say people don't stretch enough. Um, they forget to stretch. And unlike animals that wake up in the morning, <laughs> they just like immediately That's stretch, true. right? That's true. They we do, don't, don't they? We don't do that. You're right. Exactly. You know? So yeah, if you have um, high blood pressure, you want to be mm -hmm. careful with your forward folds. Um, but another lovely one to do mm -hmm. is a wide-legged forward fold. So you want to get comfortable with your close-legged forward fold, like we just did first. Mm -hmm. But and this, a nice way to boost your immune system when doing this posture is to bring your hands oh. behind your low back, kind of press your hands down into your low back, lengthen your heart up forward, make sure your knees are a little bit soft, and just kind of start to fold forward here. And you might find your hamstrings. Is your back supposed to be straight on this? Fairly straight. You okay. want to think about, the, what we, th we think about is lengthening the heart away from Ooh. the tailbone, and the tailbone away from the heart. And then you mm. might bring the hands up off the low back. If you are spending a lot of time over a laptop mm -hmm. or yeah. anything like that, this is a great way to kind of counteract mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And then you can lower your hands back down to the low back. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring the hands to the hips, remind that heart to come forward. 
and maybe you can either come all the way forward, yeah. mm -hmm. or you might find in studios we have blocks, but books, anything that can kind of help raise uh -huh. you up a little bit, <laughs> come up onto that, maybe come into a... We have to go. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, but no, thank you so oh. much. No, I just, I, I wanted you to, you know, finish that pose right there. Thank oh, you yeah, so that, much, Katie, that, for that coming. That's a star, right? Is that helping a star? Us. Twisting open is a great way to... Where are you located? The Boost Immunity, 161 Dunbar Street. 161 downtown Spartanburg. Dunbar Street, downtown Spartanburg. Excellent. Good thank stuff. you so thank much. Thank you so much. My yeah. pleasure. My we pleasure. should definitely do this right after, like, having the turkey dinner. Or, you know, some <laughs> hours right before, later. Every day. Right, oh, right, right before. Right before. Okay, you heard it. Right before. Stay with us. We have more Carolina.